New at four, you may have a new way to get around Boise. CBS2 has learned that one vendor called Bird is interested in bringing the e-scooters to Boise. This is what they could look like. The company has applied for a permit to operate and says the scooters could make getting around Boise faster and easier and reduce vehicle traffic. Now, before they scoot around town, Boise city leaders want to make sure the sidewalks don't become a mess, so to speak. CBS 2's Haley Kramer's live. She's here in the studio showing us the concerns and solutions. The city is no stranger to bike share companies like Boise Green Bikes that make it easy to grab a bike and go. But these new e-bikes and e-scooters won't have a station like this to lock them up. One of the great things about our city is we are a very bike friendly city and so we want to, we're being cautiously optimistic about what this could mean for Boise, um, uh, but we also want to make sure we avoid the pitfalls. Here in Boise, you'll be able to ride them on streets, sidewalks, crosswalks, bike lanes and the green belt at a maximum speed of 20 miles per hour. These dockless e-scooters and bikes have already been rolled out across the country in cities like Washington, D.C., Seattle, San Francisco, Salt Lake City, but for many, the new technology has also brought forward some new problems, like the bikes being left in random, inconvenient places. They can be um, a challenge from the sense of clutter, from a sense of public safety, and those kinds of things, right away blockages, that kind of stuff. And that's something this bike friendly city is hoping to avoid. So, to start, the mayor and city council have looked at the best practices from other cities and are working closely with the interested vendors to make sure they know the do's and don'ts. In order to um, make things as workable as possible is, uh, you know, a, a total limit of all uh, of these vehicles from these types of companies at 750 in our city. Um, each company that might come in is limited to 250 vehicles, whether it's an e-bike, an e-scooter, or a regular bike. Each company will have a local representative and needs a business license to operate. And for each of their bikes and scooters, there is a fee and deposit. The city says the companies will be responsible for making sure their rides are out of the way. Any bike that is considered a nuisance is left in a park. If it's left in a right of way, if it's left on a sidewalk or in a doorway or in, in some uh, odd place, then uh, we're asking folks to call the city clerk's office. They're responsible for working with these companies and making sure that things are taken care of. If that bike is not taken care of uh, within 24 hours, there is a fee um, and a penalty associated with that. The city says they are working to have a good community partnership with all of these companies interested in bringing their business here. Live in the studio, Haley Kramer, CBS 2 News.